6,500 feet exact. 8% grade. This is US Highway 89. Driving from the scenic overlook down to breathtaking, beautiful Bear Lake. It's a lake that's mostly in Utah. The very northern tip, also shared with the state of Idaho. Try to go a little slower here so you can just take in the view. The little town below is Garden City. They have unique raspberries that grow in this valley. Garden City is famous for its world famous raspberry shoes. Highly recommend if you're ever here that you stop and eat one. You can see just a turquoise, beautiful lake here. Square. That's actually new. That hasn't been here before. I've, I've never seen that. I'm go ahead and turn north here onto Utah Scenic Byway East 30. Uh, Lake Town is 10 miles away. Data last to Lake Town. I'll continue to broadcast to there. I'm going to be heading over into Wyoming and the most eastern northern tip of Utah is where we're at currently. I won't be spending much time in Wyoming though. Won't see much of the lake here for a few minutes as we drive through this small community. The lake's probably a quarter of a mile west of me. That would be to the left hand side of the camera view. They do have this nice bike trail. <laughs> Follows everywhere. You can ride a big chunk of this around a lot of the lake. This is truly a beautiful, beautiful lake. It has been low in recent years due to drought appears to be making a little bit of a comeback. We'll get up next to the shore here soon and able to get a very good view. Once we get out of the little town area here. Every month. 
Monday I try to go for a drive. It's kind of my release. So I'm going to try to broadcast a nice drive for whoever would like to see it in the future. is not a real lighthouse if you're wondering. That was constructed recently. A lot of new homes coming in in this area which is kind of amazing because there's not much infrastructure. Most of them appear to be twin homes. I would think that they are vacation homes for those who can afford that. This little stretch right here, there's not much population. This is a resort area here where you can come and stay. It has a beach right on the lake. Uh, you stay in townhome type places. The name of it is Ideal Beach Resort. So if you're interested in coming and staying here, has a little bit of everything, tennis, basketball, swimming. The road's going to rip around this mountain here for a second. Speed limit picks up now. Not sure how long I'll have data for. Uh, hopefully uh, to the point where we can get shoreside. Which is coming up in uh, looks like about a half mile according to my GPS. Unfortunately, the little bit of a construction zone they're redoing the blacktop. Okay, now we're kind of getting close to the actual shoreline where the road runs right next to it. This lake is such a vibrant blue. It's really amazing. I hope hope my camera does it justice. It really has a turquoise look to it. And the water's almost up to the uh, road here, which it hasn't been for a little while. This is the most northern part of the road, or I'm sorry, the lake. Looks like they're actually working on the road right up here. When the lake's lower, a lot of people just drive right out on the lake bed. Don't be fooled by the lake though, it's very deep in places.
the lake does have a native bird. Now here we go. We have an eagle on the road. So I'm going to slowly pull up here. I believe that's an eagle. Might be a vulture actually. Yes, that is a turkey vulture. goes. Pretty neat to see. That was about a, a 12 foot wingspan bird. So if you had an opportunity to watch this video, that's a real treat. Don't see that very often, even here in the middle of nowhere. And oh, I think I'm going to be dreading this in my BMW in a second. Stopping, or are we going? I guess we're stopping. This person's tired. I do not think that number 91 here knows that they're being broadcast live on Periscope. Sign up slow. Should I go? <laughs> okay. I have never seen anything like this. It's kind of funny. It's 
56 degrees, so she's not super warm out there. But that's good when you're working with blacktop. Elevation, 5,910 feet. Latitude, 4152.47. Longitude, 111. 2156 West. Oh, here comes some cars. Oh, this is our little leader car. She's telling them where to go. Which is ridiculous. Probably why she wanted me to stop way back there, but of course I have no idea. like the general's truck. some more dancing. Didn't know he was going to get a dancing show today. Maybe that's it. Pilot car is going to turn around here. And we got a lady driving a Ford of some sort. Pilot car must follow me. Don't worry, we'll follow. Here we go. He thanked me, and we're off into hell. Time I'm in construction like this, I consider it hell. You get this black stuff on your wheels and your wheel wells. Of course, we're only going five miles an hour. Unfortunately, it's ruining the view that you have here of Utah Lake, or that was just great, Bear Lake, sorry. I'll be quiet now and you can enjoy the pilot car. her face. <laughs> Some people are not happy to be here today. So you get to know a brand new road next time I come through here. Looks like we're rotomilling, taking off the top layer of 
blacktop, throwing down new blacktop. I don't know how much of that they reuse or not. I guess we're gonna go slow right here. Almost stopped. Now this is pilot car speeding up. get to see the exciting vulture on this. This broadcast is turning into a much longer than I anticipated just because of this construction. Apologize for that. Looks like we're about to the other end and then we'll get back to normal speeds here. See how many cars are waiting at the other end unhappily. <coughs> the road there. And I've already opened a huge space between me and the construction crew people that were with me that were stuck in the traffic. The mountains aren't the most pretty around here. They're kind of barren. You can see a little bit of the beach up here. For whatever reason, somebody has a horse trailer out on the beach. I don't know if they're riding horses on the, on the sand or what. But this is pretty much the northern point uh, of the lake. There is a state park here, Bear Lake State Park for the state of Utah. The Rendezvous Beach is what it's called. This thing will be full of teenagers here in a few weeks when it warms up a little more. This is just the uh, valley here. We're now at the very north tip. I'm going to end the broadcast here in a moment. There's an old gas station up here that's kind of interesting. It's been here since I was a kid, child. And Pretty sure it was here a lot longer than that. You have to excuse me, I'm new to Periscope. I don't think there's a ton of people using it yet. What I've found to be fascinating is scenic stuff. There's a dead cat in the road, unfortunately. There's some sheep, a bunch of sheep, a sheep herder farm. Not sure with the sun if you were able to see that or not, but there's a good probably two, three hundred sheep, some more further over. There is a lot of sheep up in this area, sheep farmers. There's also a lot of deer, elk, moose, antelope. This is the town of Lake Town. Uh, there's not much to Lake Town. It's pretty much all in view. There's a little hamburger place and a Sinclair gas station. Looks like a little repair shop here. Hamburger place. 
probably not even open yet for the season. Well, it doesn't look like it. There's the gas station here. Let's pull over and take a look at the gas station. Probably pull this thing in town. And I'm going to end the broadcast. Thanks for watching.